Welcome back. It's, it's good to know that you're there and still watching us. This is the run-up and we're into this last lap of the journey, as mm -hmm. it were. And uh, before we close, I don't know what I should just say. There are some announcements or there are some comments to be made or there are some hot headlines that really caught our fancy mm -hmm. uh, like that. Okay, so uh, that is what we're going to be doing right now. First of all is that... Um, the APC particularly, uh, I didn't hear of any other um, political parties, the APC has said that the, the BIVAS, which a lot of people have applauded as some mm. a technology that will change the face of uh, our electoral system, should not be used because they do not trust the technology until INEC is able to tell the ruling party and Nigerians that they are 100% sure of Nigerians BIVAS. Nigerians are already applauding the system. We understand what it is going to be like. We don't need that further explanation. We like beavers. What, <laughs> where is that coming from? Okay, that uh, it's not going to be a good process because uh, announcing results from the polling units will not be good enough. Mm. But those are the excuses I heard. And I, I don't know uh, why technology should be so scary. Mm. Uh, I'm particularly worried because at some point in this country, the National Assembly stood up and said something about Nigeria uh, never talking about um, electric cars, that they should never deliberate upon electric cars in the National Assembly or in Nigeria because we produce Why? fuel. You because see the kind we of produce fuel. fuel. Yeah. Fuel that maybe in 20 years' time will go out of fashion. I think 20 years is <laughs> too much of time. So I, I don't know why technology should be so scary, why change should be so scary to our people and a, a, a ruling party. And this came from the chairman of the ruling party saying that beavers should not be used during the I election. I mean, technology is like, let's to go make, back it, to the, make the, it easier, make life easier, make you know, elections more, um, um, you know, trustworthy, if I'm to use that more word. More transparent. Like, yeah, you know. more transparent. So what, 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 I, what, I would like to hear what their reasons are, though, you know, before I That's the reason. Conclude. They don't trust the technology. They don't trust the technology. <laughs> then I don't, I personally do not think it is enough because it, before it was even brought up and approved, there would have been some checks. But it also, I, I wouldn't even say it is APC. Let me say, let me just say the chairman of APC said that because <laughs> some people, even in the APC, have applauded this, that mm -hmm. it is a very good thing that has come technology, this and that. And the APC also, ha the chairman of the APC also has some questionable things that he has done. For yeah. instance, when there was supposed to be a primary, he brought up a candidate and said, the president told me that, and then offered <laughs> this, this candidate of, like he is the consensus. And the president was silent, even if he told him, but he became silent and mm. even confirmed that story. So it's a, he's lucky to be in APC. If he were in PDP, it would have been one of the problems of the G5. <laughs> <laughs> But it's in APC, they are ruling. A lot of, lot of things can go. Mm. Well, uh, but also, um, there is this very important one. Mm -hmm. the, uh, okay, well, before we get there, Asu also said that um, there are misplaced priorities if they are talking about um, student loans, now a bank to cater to student loans, when the universities themselves that need to be fixed are not being fixed. So you're giving loans to people to come and study where? Mm. Some hostels at the universities are so dilapidated. dilapidated. Lecture halls are not there. The equipment, the everything that is supposed to be in a university to make life comfortable and mm -hmm. learning very conducive for the people are not there. And not also forgetting the you know the most one that you know everybody is talking about, which is how that you take student loans and you don't have means of paying back. Mm -hmm. I I really want to. Um, say that if we're going to have these student loans, this is my opinion, this is what I think that should be fixed first. Infrastructures, mm -hmm. industries, these are the you know, means to provide jobs. Jobs do not fall from heaven. When we say job creation, it's not nail and wood. You don't knock it together. There are things you need to pull it, put in place before you can say that we're creating jobs. And these are the things that should come first mm -hmm. actually before you put people in that situation, especially young people who are just leaving school. And, you know, university like they say, it should not necessarily be for everybody. Uh, people who are making money now may not necessarily be people who went to university. Mm -hmm. Some of them went to university and came back and become 
uh, skit makers and all that. And they're and making their little money. <laughs> from the, so you don't need to be even schooled enough in the university to be able to navigate the web, yeah. the web to get the things that you need to do. So, all right, uh, moving on to like what is supposed to be the most important for this weekend. The Lagos State Government has announced traffic diversion for the All Progressives Congress presidential and governorship rally coming up this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, he, this, this rallies are scheduled to hold on, yes, on Saturday at the Teslin Balogun Stadium in the Sulere area of the state. The rallies will be held between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. And the Commissioner for Transportation, Frederick Oladeinde, said in a statement on Wednesday, Abola Tinubu of the APC is seeking to be elected president, while Governor Babajide Songolu is seeking re-election in the 2023 general elections. And the Commissioner urged Lagos residents to plan their movement around Teslim Balogun Stadium. Uh, Fusho Williams Avenue and a large, a large Masha areas in Surulere. He added that human and vehicular movement around the affected areas will be regulated as there will be a series of traffic diversions for safety and security management purposes. He also said, that is the commissioner, mm -hmm. that directional signs, uh, tow vehicles and barricades will be made available to guide motorists and pedestrians. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll just say, Lagosians, advise yourself, like, <laughs> like we say in Nigeria, advise yourself, because mm. if you want to move on that day, you traffic diversions, diversions, how many people will even think about, the stadium will grossly be inadequate to hold that rally. Mm. Remember, this is Ashiwaju. And this is Lagos, like this is his bedroom, so to mm -hmm. speak. And then there's a Shoulu there. So double mega rallies uh, in merged into one. So it, the movement will really. But be, then, be is it reason enough to cut off vehicular and human movement? Well, I, I, that's, that's another issue. Even when the president comes to Lagos, there shouldn't be stoppage to businesses and everything mm -hmm. just because the president has come. I mean, if you're telling us that there's going to be this and that put in place, then we shouldn't be worried about traffic because if you have things put in place, those things are supposed to make movement possible and smooth. Are you still making it look like we're going to be stuck? A story for another day. <laughs> Advise yourself. Saturday will be a very terrible day to move. Not because there will be danger or all that, but because the traffic situation will, will be, be nice. really... And when it happens in one place in Lagos... It just holds back every Everywhere in Lagos is affected. So, advise yourself. Mm. Saturday will not be easy for anybody. <laughs> All right. And this is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of the run-up. I hope you had the amount of fun that we did having these conversations. And we're approaching the weekend. What's your plan? That's the gist for another day. <laughs> <laughs> but until tomorrow, 11 a.m., my name is Uchechuku Onodu. And I am Nyamgul Agadji. Thanks for being there.